Hi, Kubo, and welcome to episode five, the mid-season episode. We've finally made it. Um, I don't think I've been as excited for an episode until like the first episode. Yeah. I, I think, I don't know, after the fourth episode and we've kind of gotten some answers and now we're going into the mid-season. Like how, like pretty much I want to know how it affected the show, if it's going to continue uh, to like show us more, like leak into the real world. Yeah, I, I w- I'm thinking because now um, they know, well, they've infiltrated the bubble um, and Vision's kind of becoming more aware and Wanda's mm-hmm. kind of like cracking, I guess you want to say. Yeah. So now I'm feeling, I'm looking forward to Vision becoming more aware, aware. and then attempts to get into Wanda's world are going to become more serious or dire. Yeah, so, more frequent. Yeah. And another but. thing is this ep- this episode is 42 minutes, the longest yeah, one. Yeah, this is the longest one. I wasn't expecting that. It's cool because it's, like, not even commercials either. Like, usually <laughs> yeah, when you see straight. stuff, like, when we would watch Walking Dead, yeah. we'd be like, oh, my gosh, an hour long, and it's, like, 30 minutes commercials. Yeah, 45 minutes of commercials. <laughs> so it's good that we're getting the full 42 minutes. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. What, or, what are you expecting for this episode? I don't know, because, like, I saw an article saying, like, oh, the next trailer gives out major spoilers. I'm like, well... Guess who's not watching the trailer? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that too. <laughs> so I I don't know what's going on in this episode. Yeah. I'm thinking it where this episode's going to jump back and forth between real world and Wanda world. I yeah, instead what... of like a full on Wanda episode or a full on outside outside episode, yeah. so it's like kind of a mix maybe. So I don't know. Let's watch. So we are getting the babies episode. Mm, yeah, they they're very big. <laughs> <laughs> That can't be good for the babies. Why won't you do what I want? Is that because they're real? Maybe. That they're not gonna... That she can't control them? Do you want me to take that again? Hmm? Oh. What? Oh. Oh. The theme song. I don't know what this could be. It's not... Like Full House? <laughs> Is it like Full House? I don't know. <laughs> Baby Vision. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she got her powers from the blast. They keep bringing up Pietro. I, I wonder if... That makes me happy. I wonder if he's going to um be involved in some way. I really hope so, because I feel like they killed him off so fast. And so to kind of bring back his face, yeah. his name... I'm like, it's really cool to see it again. Even if maybe Wanda ends up bringing him back in, in her mind. Yeah, in her mind or in the, her show or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then another thing, too, is like they're they're talking about like, oh, she's the main victimizer or something. Yeah. I was wondering, everyone keeps saying like, oh, who's the villain? Who's the villain? Is it Mephisto? Is it this? And it's just like, I think it's Wanda. And I think it's a, that's a question that people ask because it's a Marvel show or mm-hmm. thing. So it's like there's a good guy and a bad guy. So we want a bad guy because Wanda is a good guy and she can't be, like, she couldn't be doing this, you know? Yeah. I think that's what it is. But, like, people, I mean, you're more familiar with me because I haven't read the comics in a long time. But there's times where in the comics where Wanda breaks down and cracks and is yeah. the the person responsible for very devastating things. And then I recently started uh, reading these again. Uh, I know you read them already like when they came out yeah and then i started reading uh house of m and i can see the similarities in it between like her recreating the whole world instead of just the town like in here Uh, but you can see her like in denial about Mm -hmm. stuff and like people are telling her like things aren't real and then they have to kind of put her to sleep in order to like control control her her, which is like inhumane yeah like that's messed up like she's a person still yeah i have yeah, I haven't read those in a while, but yeah, I highly rec- I do remember it being a really good story. It's probably on the top top list of Marvel stories, so mm-hmm. I recommend it, especially for a show for a Wanda show. Yeah, check it out. Does Maximoff have an alias? No, sir. Is Civil he gonna is he stuff? gonna is he gonna give her the Scarlet Witch name? Yeah, or put it plant the seed so someone comes up with it. Going back to bad guys, they have a name. And she's doing this, so he's like, does she, does she have an alias? Yeah, like, they always want to give the bad yeah, guys a name. And Scarlet Witch, that's, I guess, sounds like a 
bad Yeah, it sounds like a negative connotation yeah. of it. I never thought, because we know she's a Scarlet Witch. Yeah. But I never really caught that they never called her that. Stole the Vision's body and resurrected him. So that, what? that's different. What? <laughs> it's, he's not imaginary. Yeah, he's real. I thought she, um, when you saw his face, and I, I kept seeing other people saying like, oh, she... She has babies with a corpse and all this stuff. I'm like, that's not really his corpse. I that's know, just her seeing fake. his face. So, what? That's, that's... She stole his body! Okay, I wasn't expecting... I am I was thinking he was not real at all. Yeah. So maybe... Because you, you said that maybe the babies are real in that point. Mm -hmm. So maybe they are. So that's why she can't really control them. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. Now, I just... That's Vision's dog's name in the comics. His name's Sparky. <laughs> ten years old. Way down They're gonna <laughs> They're turn like, oh, ten. <laughs> How weird. They could do that. What? Like, that go, is so cool. Like go in there dressed like that already? Maybe. And then you won't be changed at all, like your memory or anything. Huh. Okay, what Vision literally just did with that guy. Layla, she's a character in this book. And then Emma Frost, they have the psychic ability to open their eyes mm -hmm. to what's really happening. So like everyone is in like her world thinking, oh, this is real. Oh, this is real. And then they they wake them up. Yeah, oh, there we go again. Oh. I know this is a tech from the 80s, but can we sharpen the visuals? Yeah, it's... It's from the 80s, so it doesn't need to be changed. Well Therefore, yeah. it could go inside. That's interesting. Take the shot. Dang, that's messed up. Do they honestly think they're going to shoot her, though? War is on. The first shot has been made. This guy's dumb. I hate when they keep people in the dark. This is dumb. What? Yeah, how would he think that, yeah, I'm going to shoot a missile. This would be over. We get to go home, and it's done. This ain't no thing. Oh, snap. She actually came out. <laughs> okay. This better not be the end of the episode. Okay, good, a commercial. But when you make a mess, you didn't mean to. Hmm. We can't reverse death. I bet she's going to be thinking about that. Like, can I fix the dead? Yeah. Would it be okay if I did? You can't control me the way you do. Got him. Stop lying! Who is it? I want to say is. Did she just cut the show, or is it still going? Is it? <gasps> what? Oh my Wait gosh! Minute. Wait, no, that's not the scene. It's not. That's. Is it from X Men? What the heck? <laughs> what? Yeah, she recasted him. That's that's the word for that's it. I was the, trying to figure it out. That's the X-Men. Is that her way of fixing the dead? What? What does that happen? <laughs> oh my gosh. That okay. was insane. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we kind of had an idea. They're like, Pietro's being brought up more often yeah either in the last episode or whichever episode it was and then mm -hmm. today they brought him up three times i think yeah they were just so talking it's about like okay so him. now they're getting it in our minds is he gonna come back but i wasn't expecting it to be like this i don't know because is it just because he is from this quicksilver this pietro is from the X-Men universe yeah. from future, First Class and Days of Future Past. Yeah. Is this connecting that universe, the universe where the X-Men takes place and these movies take place? Or is it just in her world, her brother is dead and she's, instead of bringing him back to life, is she just recasting him? Yeah. And then it's kind of like showing like a, a multiverse kind of of yeah. that X-Men universe to ours. 
and just calling it recasting. Another thing is, she was saying, oh, I didn't make the doorbell ring, but she seemed genuinely surprised. Yeah. Which was also another thing. She, because I don't, I don't know if she's controlling this and controlling everybody's minds, it wouldn't, I wouldn't think that anything would surprise her. Except for this, she saw him and was like, what? Like, yeah. Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. But at the same time, they did bring it up, like, Vision told her, subconsciously, you, you didn't know about that you can control it. And then somewhere down the line, you did figure out you could control it. So maybe, like, subconsciously, she did that because Pietro's been, like, brought been up on her multiple mind times. Or... She's been on He's been on her mind. Then he called Vision I... a popsicle stick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so overall, now that we kind of got it out, what did you think of the episode? I, oh my gosh, that was one of the best so far. I really liked it was, this episode. Yeah, like I wasn't expecting that at all. Mm-hmm. Like I like, like I was saying, the only, the one gripe I had about last episode was I like the traditional sitcom. Yeah. And we kind of got a bol- best of both worlds. Like we were, I was expecting in the beginning, and we're getting half of this and half of that. So I liked the the pairing of it was almost equally in Wanda's world and in the real world, mm-hmm. and then we also got some interaction with Wanda coming out and saying like "Leave me alone." Like yeah, I wasn't expecting her to come out. I yeah. thought she was gonna like send somebody or like a hologram, mm-hmm. or, like control somebody to bring out and say like Wanda doesn't want you here or something. No, yeah. she she came out herself. She wasn't yeah. playing. And then I wasn't expecting her to actually steal Vision's corpse. Oh, oh, yeah. That's, that blew my mind. That was another thing. And that was early on where they said that. They're like, oh, she stole his body. Yeah. I was. That's That kind of blew my mind because I'm like, oh, I thought it was just like she just like pictured him and yeah. like kind of brought him to life from her mind. Not <laughs> she's puppeteering Vision's body. And then, too, like I, I, I see that they are bringing like vision and house of m more together yeah because in house of m like of course there's quicksilver and like she they're together and like spoiler alert like quicksilver is the one who talks wanda into creating this universe Mm. to this like false reality and changing everything and everyone thinks it's magneto but it was quicksilver Mm -hmm. so i think it's kind of cool that they're bringing quicksilver into her reality after she already made it yeah but like I, I just think it's really cool. Back to who's the villain. I know a lot of people were saying, like, oh, it's Mephisto or something. Mm-hmm. Because, like, his soul is in the children and yeah. he wants it back and all this stuff. There's kind of really no sign of, of that. that. Yeah. It's it's kind of like Wanda creating stuff. But at the same time, she even said, oh, I don't know how this started. It could easily be a higher source, stronger source controlling this. Or it could just be that... She's so far in her grief and sadness that she, her subconscious made this world and didn't know what was happening, but then she became aware that she can control it. Yeah. I don't know. It could be any... Somewhere down the line. It could be either of them, I I think, because Wanda is strong enough to do that. Yeah. Plus, she's grieving the death of two people. Like, you Mm -hmm. can tell she's clearly not over Pietro's death. And then she's not over Vision's death. Yeah. So it's just like, and then just to, just the emotion of that, mm-hmm. to take on that burden and then like kind of have no one to grieve with. And especially because yeah. everyone, I know everyone in the world lost people, mm-hmm. but at the same time, Pietro was like her twin. And there, that yeah. there's like a twin connection that only twins know about. Right. And then plus like Vision, the person she loved is mm-hmm. gone. So it's like losing those two people and like and having the powers she does yeah like things can go unstable things can be out of control like you like typical grateful people like they act out of character people grieve differently so it's like now give them powers (laughs) like what are they gonna do (laughs) okay so yeah we could go on forever but we're gonna end the episode (laughs) i'm excited we're gonna end the episode here um next week needs to hurry up already i know like i'm gonna be thinking about it for a while yeah so we want to thank you guys for watching and this is especially in this episode with this happening what tell us what you think we want to yeah, hear, we want to hear theories, what you guys think what because, ones that you're thinking about yeah. or bandwagoning on that seem like more legit than others because there's some that are yeah, kind of what, out what's there. your opinion on Pietro on who is is he real on i don't know there's a lot in this episode and we would love to hear your thoughts on it and get a good uh, bigger discussion on this because we could go on yeah. For, forever but we're gonna end the episode here 
Again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Coca-Cola, signing off.